Good morning. This is Pastor Tim Miller at St. John's Lutheran Church, New Minden, in St. Luke's Covington. Thanks for linking in to the children's message today. I've got one of our old Sunday school pictures that shows a boy named Timothy. We meet up with Timothy in the book of Acts, chapter 16, when he's a young man. He eventually became a pastor and a faithful helper of the Apostle Paul. Many years later, Paul fondly remembered what it was like for Timothy when he was young. We do know that Timothy did not have a father who was a Christian. It's possible that he may even have died when Timothy was a boy. We don't know for sure. But we do know is that his mother Eunice and his grandmother Lois were the ones who taught him about God. They had a sincere faith and they passed that on to Timothy. The New Testament books about Jesus had not yet been written when Timothy was a boy, but Eunice and Lois taught Timothy well from an early age the books we know as the Old Testament. Here you can see that his mom is teaching him from a scroll, since all the Bible books were handwritten at that time. They taught him so well that years later, Paul wrote to Timothy and said, from childhood, really from the time you were a baby, you have been acquainted with the sacred writings, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. Even though Jesus hadn't even been born yet when those books were written, they told Timothy everything Timothy needed to know about the Savior who was to come. Enough so that Timothy could put his trust in that Savior and be saved. Paul also said that the words of the Bible are breathed out by God. That means they came from God himself, even though he used about 40 different men to write down the 66 books of the Bible. He says the Bible is also profitable that means it is useful, beneficial, it helps people. It helps people to tell them what they need to know about God and about the world and about themselves. It corrects them when they have ideas that are wrong. And above all, it shows them their sins and then shows them their Savior Jesus who took their sins away by dying on the cross and rising again so that people can believe in him and have eternal life with him forever. You can see here that Eunice is teaching Timothy even while they do the things that you do in everyday life, like their chores. So Grandma Lois is carrying some water. And here's a mill for making flour. It reminds me of what the reading from Deuteronomy was talking about today. It said that the words of God should be on your heart. No doubt that means to memorize them. And it says parents should talk about God's words when you sit at your house, when you go somewhere, when you go to bed at night, and when you get up in the morning. Here's something that can help you do that at home. It's a book called My Devotions that you can order so it comes to your house every three months. It has a reading for every day and a little section from the Bible. This reading happens to be about some boys named Tyler and Caleb and their friend Josiah. It's especially for families who have boys and girls in grade school. I've put a few copies out in the window in the front of church. You can pick one up, take it home, and if you like it, go ahead and order it. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you that you have come to earth to make God known to us. Thank you that we have the Bible to tell us everything we need to know in order to believe in you and have eternal life. Thank you that the Bible is so helpful for lots of things in our lives. Help us to hear it, read it, to listen to it, to take it to heart, to remember it, to think about it, to talk about it. We love you, Jesus. Bless our Sunday school teachers and everybody who teaches your word. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.